everyone, it's Farah again for another video and this one is very practical. I am someone who doesn't like waste. Everything is recycled in my house. I mean, I try my best, but um, as you probably have seen, I have already done um, a nut milk uh, video and I have some left over here. So I was left with a lot of pulp. This is two lots of almond milk. That I have um, done and basically I was left with all this pulp I hope you can see it it's not too bright now and so basically I don't throw this away it becomes almond meal and basically I make um, bliss ball with it so almond bowl whatever you want to call it so I've got some ingredients to share with you and I hope you're gonna enjoy this video let's go so for this recipe as we say we need almond meal and we need dates and we also need some optional stuff <laughs> ingredients that i'm gonna show you how to do you don't have to but what we're gonna start with is just measuring the, the almond meal or almond pulp uh, because i haven't got that many dates i only have 10 dates i'm measuring a one cup of the um, almond pulp here so i've got one cup maybe i'll add a little bit just to make it to a cup probably a cup so one cup of the pulp and I'm gonna put it in my uh, bullet I think Nutribullet company need to pay me a lot of money because I use the, um, the blender like 24 hours and for the last four years I would say and then I'm gonna add the 10 dates these are pitted then the dates so they have no um, stone in them in they go last time I did it I didn't put any water or liquid in it. Today, I'm gonna put a, a dash of the almond milk. Just kind of to make it easy on the blender because I appreciate it. Right, we're gonna blend. Let's go. Blended. What I'm going to do is have a look. You can see, perfect. You can see that all the dates have been kind of mixed with the um, the pulp. So I'm going to put it in here. This is raw, so it's not cooked, and you have all the nutrient in here ready to go. You can munch on these at work. You don't waste anything. I don't waste anything. <laughs> so as you can see, it is quite, you know, it's holding itself. So it's really good. I don't need to add anything. So the dash of milk can help a little bit. Oh, we have one that escaped. But I think it's nice to have a little bit chunk uh, piece of date. The other thing that we can add, you can leave it as it is. And all you do is make a little ball like this and just eat them like that you can roll them in sesame seeds in any nuts any seeds you want chocolate if you want to but i like to make it a little bit more exciting and i'm gonna add some dry dehydrated um cherries and do you know what i got this from <laughs> i got them from um, the um what is called granola granola and it has a lot of these dehydrated fruits in them so i s kind of spend a good half an hour looking for them and pick them up because i love crunching on them so i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add them here just make it a bit more fun you don't have to this is just optional but do you know what if you want to make it a bit more special you can the other thing that i add always in my food is essential oils and this is tangerine tangerine oh my god is absolutely beautiful so i'm gonna add about four drop four maybe five mix a whole lot and it's beautiful to have the pinky bits pink, pinky little bits of dehydrated and it's so nice to have um this completely natural completely raw and you don't have to waste anything everything is recycled it's a little bit wet for my liking but who cares so 
again, you just mix it with your hand and make it into a ball. I shared this with my neighbors and they loved it, so I've got the thumbs up from them. <laughs> there we go, you can make it like little nice. This, as I said, there's one who escaped, but it's nice to have a different uh, colors. So I'm gonna put them in. I don't do anything else with them, I'll just eat them like that. But as I said, if you want to roll them in sesame, in uh, peanut butter, in cashew nut butter, anything you like really to can you can add them to they are absolutely gorgeous and these are perfect as i said for snacks for kids or for you going to work all day and you want to munch on something healthy look at this this is pretty pretty and that's it you can make i mean you can make smaller ones you can make bigger ones and you can also add sweetener if you like uh, to add maple syrup or um, you know, more dates to make it more sweeter you can but otherwise the dates are sweet enough you know i'm making them huge because i <laughs> just want to finish this quick but otherwise you can make them as small as you want um as i said you know, it's up to you how you want to add this and you can also add different essential oils you can make lime you can add lime you can add uh, wild orange you can add lemon so very simple very quick every time i make almond milk I'm, i have pulps and i make this beautiful little bowl of heaven bliss have a great time uh, wherever you are and i have had a great time to showing you how to do this if you uh, like it, give me a thumbs up, give me a good feedback, subscribe as well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.